In this video, I'm going to be looking at um, another control that is very similar to the one that we used the last video, which is the uh, radio button. Uh, radio, radio button is very similar to the checkbox, uh, but the BT, the difference is that uh, a checkbox you are allowed to choose more than one item at a time, so you can have multiple. Uh, you can have a list of ten and if you ask to select six it is possible that's when you use a checkbox because checkbox will allow you to choose more than one so you can choose uh, six out of ten but radio button allow you to choose only one out of all the options so you don't you don't have more than one option to choose so let me demonstrate how to use the radio button so if I drag and drop a radio button on our form and that will be the radio button one I can uh, drag the next one have it two so now we have two radio buttons so uh, let's configure this radio button so we can use them okay right radio button one we can uh, set the text on it to like the last time uh, do you agree and uh, radio button 2 we can set the text on it to uh, okay now sorry if we say this one to no I do not agree and the first one we set it to yes I agree so let me show you something very quickly right now because we haven't there's another property of the radio button that you must always set because if you don't you'll be able to <laughs> you'll be able to check both <laughs> both of these controls will, you will be will be ch checkable so right now you see I can check both of them I'm sure that you haven't seen this happening on any web page before so you have to make sure that you put this to uh, uh, any number of uh, radio buttons that you have you have to put them in a particular group so right now because we're asking our users to be part of a I mean to agree to a terms and conditions so I'm gonna put them you have to configure the group name this group name is under the behavior so you must always configure the group name to be let's use this to be TC terms and condition and so that means this one must also be the part of the same group TC so uh, okay uh, let, let's add the third one and let's put another radio button so this one is uh, what options what can, what can we write there uh, yes I agree no I don't agree neither <laughs> neither I agree no disagree yes that's the you know we have people that always satisfy this uh, they, n they never agree or disagree with anything so let's assume that we have these people as well so we're going to put them in the same group TC group name will be TC so now let's uh, run it now we'll be able to select only one out of this three we cannot select the three at a time it will be impossible because they're now all part of a group name so let's configure the um, auto post back to be true uh, auto post back for this one is true for this one as well I want to set it to true and for the last one I want to set it to true so now that we have that we can now do the uh, select the first one let's go to the event and just uh, change the check chain so whenever it is checked so if uh, this garbage if uh, radio button one radio button one we need the first one dot checked if it's checked uh, we want to the okay let's look for an hyperlink so that we can direct the users to different area depending on what the choice of the selection is so uh, let me put the hyperlink there and uh, let me delete the text on it 
So uh, hyperlink one dot. Let me. I was change the text on the hyperlink to be if they select that they agree. Uh, you agreed. Now proceed. I can never ever text. Type now proceed to the payment page. So that's the text that they get if ready button one is checked. So uh, if we go back and uh, select the that's the first one. So this is this radio button two. We go to the event and check changed. So this is radio button two. Check changed. If radio button two is checked, um, they do not agree. So what do we say to them? Uh, Ipalink one dot text equals you did not agree so get out of here <laughs> yeah we want to send them to another page oh actually I forgot to set um, let me hyperlink one dot uh, navigate URL I want to change navigate URL to um, let's change one to Google So when you don't agree, we they get sent to Google, yeah. So but here, let's which should we send them to? Uh, Ipaling one. Let's assume that we sell on eBay. Sorry, the navigate URL. Navigate URL to eBay. HTTP. Dot com. And we do the same thing for the third one, so um, I'm sure you get the idea. So you can select the third one as well and uh, change it. So let me run this uh, application for you so you can see what I'm trying to achieve. So right now, um, I don't want this, I don't want that to be showing on my hyperlink. Hyperlink. Uh, link okay right so if I select this one yes I agree you see you agreed now proceed to the payment page but if I select this no, I don't agree. you did not agree so get out of here and if you also check at the bottom here the this bar you can see that um, the link sh goes to Google but if I select the first one the link goes to eBay so as you can see I can select from one out of multiple options but this one um, I haven't configured it so that's why it's, uh, the link is still pointing to Google the link still points to Google because if I select the first one which goes to eBay if I select the last one the link will still remains at eBay can you see that so you make sure that you configure all your um, radio buttons so we've enabled auto post back and um, this one is still working as well because that one is also uh, the auto back on that one is also enabled so you can see how you can have multiple options and you can tell your users to choose one or the other so um, I hope you understand what is going on here. Uh, it's very easy. So if you don't understand, leave me a comment on the blog, and uh, I'll I'll respond as soon as possible. Thank you.